candlestick patterns, trend analysis, volume analysis. The last weapon you need to become a great price action trader is chart patterns and that's exactly what we are going to learn in today's class so hi you all welcome to the 28th episode of the complete learning series of stock market investing and trading as always i put all these videos into a playlist the playlist is available here in the i button make sure you watch all the videos in the right order and learn really well let's all trade together and grow together so the agenda of today's video is super clear there are something very famous in the trading ecosystem called chart patterns you would have seen big traders looking at charts and saying such and such a pattern has formed there now because the chart pattern has formed there there is a chance of a breakout let me catch the breakout and make some money don't you want to do the same that's exactly what we learn today everything that is there about chart patterns how to find them and how to trade using them Let's start learning, right? Without further ado, let's get right into it. The name is Shari Shumsudin. Welcome to Market Feed. So before starting learning about chart patterns, let me tell you this. We are doing a technical analysis price action master class here. This is the seventh video of the master class. So if you haven't watched those video, make sure, please make sure you watch all those video. The link to that playlist is also given here. Why I am saying this specifically in today's video is this is the exact continuation of those videos because all these videos put together is how you'll become a great price action based intraday or positional trader, right? Because if you look into the journey, we have learned about candlesticks, candlestick analysis, volume analysis, how to draw trend lines, trend line analysis, then how to find support and resistance on charts. So all this have been done. Now we are learning about chart patterns in this video. So you have to put chart pattern on top of all the already gained knowledge and that is when you'll become a good trader. Clear? So please learn all of those before and then use chart patterns on top of the knowledge that you have already gained and yeah, you'll definitely start taking amazing trades. So yeah, if that is clear, mark your attendance in the comment section. Let's get started. So looking into the presentation, this is what we are going to learn. Six must know chart patterns. So I'm sure you would have heard about chart patterns like head and shoulder, cup and handle, double top. Yes, all of those are what we are going to learn today. But before starting learning about chart patterns, let us hear about price action a bit more, right? Now I know over the last five, six videos, I've talked about price action multiple times. What is price action? How that is being uh, respected and followed? We have talked about it multiple times, but again, a quick refresher, a quick rev a revision is what we'll do here. So what is price action? Simply put, price action trading means taking your trading decisions based on the price movements of an asset. Price always follows certain patterns and these patterns repeat over time. As simple as that. We have talked about this multiple times. That is, when it comes to a price action trader, what will he or she do? They look into the chart and when they look into the chart, they can see price is following a certain pattern or a trend. Now, based on that, because they understand price action, because they understand candlesticks well, because they understand trend lines well, because they understand volume well, they can understand, okay, a pattern is being formed there. And because of that, there is a high probability that either a breakout or a breakdown or a trend reversal can happen from there, from a specific point. And based on that, they'll take a trade, a high probability trade. And because it is a high probability trade, there is a high chance that they can make money, make profits in that trade. Simple as that. As simple as that. So what does a price action trader do? They look into the chart, look into prices movement and they have their trend lines and set up and chart patterns and based on that, they'll take a trade. They'll not look into anything else. And that is what is said in the second point. Very little weightage is given to technical indicators. So technical indicators is what we we'll learn from the next video. I would say what we learned over the last five, six, seven videos everything is the basics and the strong parts of price action trading again let me re-establish for them candlestick analysis candlestick patterns volume analysis trend line analysis how to draw trend lines support and resistance all of those plus chart patterns that we are going to learn today all of these form price action trading 
you are not adding any technical indicator on your chart you are only looking into so much and with those you are trying to find breakout points breakdown points or trend reversals and you trade with them very clear now you might again have a question as to why are these trend lines respected how does price action trading work i've taken a lot of time and explained that in another video the link to which i'm give, giving here there is a time stamp also there make sure you watch that video super clear now again just coming back to this in the coming 5 6 videos we will be learning about multiple technical indicators how you can use technical indicators to become a better trader so if you ask me i've personally seen three different types of traders first type of traders are people who only look into price action based analysis they only do that their charts are naked which means that there are no technical indicators on their chart but they have a lot of trend lines on their chart and they take their trades based on price action analysis only then there are second type of traders who would actually use only technical indicators and then they take trades on that then there are the third type of traders even i belong to this third type i would say which is clubbing the best of two worlds which is they'll be using good price action analysis and also certain technical indicators also based on that they'll be taking trades so it is all up to you what kind of a trader you want to be if you're watching the last 3 4 videos plus this video then yeah you've got enough information enough knowledge in order to become a price action based trader over the next 3 4 5 videos i'll be teaching you technical indicators also based on that you will learn some technical indicators finally I would really love to see that you are selecting best from the price action things that you have learned also the best from technical indicators thing that things that you have learned and finally you becoming a good trader and taking good trades all good i hope you get a really good perspective then let's start learning about chart pattern side in order to understand about chart patterns let us quickly read the theory first first point is chart patterns are the distinctive formations created by the movements of stock on a chart simply put when you look into the chart there are certain chart patterns that we are going to learn in today's video if you can identify those chart patterns on the chart that you are observing then we'll probably understand okay probably a breakout is going to happen or a breakdown is uh, going to happen or a trend reversal can happen so there are certain set patterns which can happen on the chart distinctive formations these are patterns right so your job is to identify the learned chart patterns in today's video on the chart of any stock that you're watching if that chart pattern is spotted on the chart then we can probably find a trade no worries no worries we'll go ahead in the uh, class and you'll learn more no worries at all second point is a pattern is identified now the question is how to identify a pattern that is what we are learning here a pattern is identified by a line connecting common price points such as closing prices or highs or lows during a specific time period now in one video we learned how to draw trend lines that's exactly how you'll be uh, drawing chart patterns also now if you do not know how to draw trend lines the link to the video i'm giving here please watch the video also and learn about how to draw trend lines it's very similar how you will draw and find chart patterns also the next point here is price action traders seek to identify patterns to anticipate the future direction of a securities price as simple as that basically you go to the chart and then you connect highs or lows or you try to identify certain chart patterns and based on that you'll take a trade the final point here is these patterns can be as simple as trend lines exactly what we learned in that video It can be as simple as trend lines and as complex as double head and shoulders pattern which we are going to learn in today's video so what do you understand here there are certain chart patterns which are already set now if you can spot them on the chart of a stock then a predicted movement can happen and if you can predict the movement then take a trade based on that there is a high chance that you can make money now what is it that we have to learn here we have to learn these set chart patterns when we learn these set chart patterns then we can go into the chart and start looking for them cool let's start learning then let's start learning about the multiple different chart patterns the first one the most common one that you have to learn is bullish and bearish rectangle chart patterns now what do you see here now i'll show you some illustrations then i'll take you into the chart then i'll show a practical live formation on a chart also cool fine so this is the illustration here so what does a bullish rectangle mean see let it be a bullish or a bearish rectangle you need not focus on that what you have to focus on is the rectangle so what can you see here from here till here the price of the stock is actually oscillating or consolidating between 
this high line or this high zone and this low zone as simple as that so if you see here you can see the stocks price moved up till here then came down till here then moved up till exactly the previous high then came down till exactly the previous low then moved up till where exactly the previous two highs and then reversed again came down then reverse from where exactly the previous two lows so what can you see here the price of the stock is consolidating between a similar high and a similar low then you can draw a line connecting all these highs and you can draw a line connecting all these lows as well then you can see within a rectangle the price is oscillating or consolidating when this happens what does it mean price is consolidating between two lines basically two lines right so any of these two trend lines can be broken and if any of these two trend lines are being broken there could be a rally on that side if there could be a rally on that side you can take a trade on that direction right as simple as that so basically is simply put i can say that this upper line is acting as a resistance we learned about resistance and support in the last video if you if you do, do not know about them make sure you watch this video so this upper line is now acting as a resistance and the lower line is acting as a support there is a chance that this resistance could be broken and there could be a breakout on the upper side or the support could be broken and there could be a breakdown on the lower side either of the two things can happen so your job is to wait and watch and confirm whatever is happening and based on whatever is happening you take a trade cool for example here if the breakout is happening on the upper side then it is called a bullish rectangle again as i always say it doesn't matter what the name is you need not feel intimidated uh, to the point that oh i'll have to, i'll have to buy heart all the names of chart patterns you need not you just have to understand the logic here so here what does it mean there is a consolidation between two lines there is a resistance formed there is a support formed if the resistance is being broken then there can be a possible breakout on the upper side then you can take a long entry here keeping stop loss below the support line as simple as that or else if it is consolidating between these two lines and if the lower line which is the support is being broken there can be a possible breakdown here then you short the stock here keeping sl above the resistance here as simple as that because it is a high probable setup you it will go down and you'll make money or if the high probability is being broken and if the stock reverses and it goes up it will hit your sl take your sl and leave no issues at all but keep doing this for multiple times because since it is a high probability setup you'll end up making money in the long term only as simple as that so bullish and bearish rectangle is only so much if the price is consolidating between two points then draw lines there marking the upper price level which will act as a resistance and marking the lower price level which will act as a support now let me practically go into a chart and show you how to find this on a live chart now i have come into tata motors this is daily time period now again it doesn't matter what time period that you looking into you can find chart chart patterns on 5 minute candlesticks which you can use for your intraday trading you can also find it on one day time period which you can use for your swing or positional trading also right here i am looking into daily uh, candles or daily time period of tata motors and i have already drawn the lines here what can you see here so if you see here from here till here price is actually coming multiple times down but whenever it is coming down it is kind of respecting this zone so let me remove this lines and draw it fresh for you so i'm just looking into the side so when i look here this zone alone i see that whenever the price is moving down it is kind of coming down till here only so this level is acting as a support here also whenever it is trying to go up it is kind of respecting 417 you see it came down till here then came up then came down then went up then came down again then it's going to uh, trying to go up yes it did not go up till 417 but it's trying to go up and this is the reason high so that's where i draw the line so what can you see here eventually it went up broke this high with a good green candle again i'm taking knowledge from all the previous videos we have learned so it is a good green candle with high good price action this level is being broken and there is good enough volume also for this candle yes it is not really high compared to uh, many multiple previous candles but it is high high volume as well and it is being broken and what can you see a good breakout happening right the price is moving up and up and up some example you are getting some understanding you are getting so on top of this i'll add something also so when you are looking for a bullish or a bearish rectangle it need not necessarily be a proper horizontal rectangle the rectangle can have some angles also you understand so what you are basically looking into a chart as is, is the stock consolidating 
it's not necessary that the stock has to consolidate in a horizontal level itself it can consolidate like, consolidate like this also in an angle or in a bearish angle also it can consolidate let's see an example i'll quickly show you a live example for that also let's come into wipro okay uh, wipro i have come into i am looking into daily candles itself uh, i have already found this here see here so if you see here let me remove this lines for you i am drawing trend lines here right so here i am looking into wipro chart what can i see wipro went up till here then came down then went up then came down then went up then came down then went up then came down so it is actually consolidating and if i draw something a trend line connecting the highs that it has created and i'll draw a trend line connecting the lows it has created what are the lows 1 2 3 4 5 so i have connected the lows also created here right so i drew a line connecting the highs i drew a line connecting the lows also what can you see here it is a rectangle it is a rectangle in certain angle right so basically the price is consolidating and this line the top line will act as a resistance and the bottom line will act as a support and whatever is being broken we can find momentum on that side and we can take a trend on that side what happened here eventually see the upper line the upper trend line which is the resistance was broken eventually and then what can we expect there is a high chance of breakout can happen and you can keep an sl here somewhere around here below the uh, support line what happened here see eventually we pro beautifully broker beautifully broker there was no looking back it just went up and up and up and up beautiful so what do you understand here what you have to look for in a chart as price consolidation and draw lines connecting the highs and lows and based on that you can easily find breakouts breakdowns trend reversals easy super then let's move ahead into the next chart pattern that we are learning which is triangle pattern okay now if you look at triangle patterns i don't even want to go into the theory you just look into the images here the illustrations here you can easily understand what they are right so basically price moving and then the price is consolidating price is consolidating and it's coming down 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 the consolidation itself is coming down and if you connect the lows and if you connect the highs you can find a triangle not a rectangle but again here also you can see that price is consolidating in a rectangle also price is consolidating but within similar price levels but in a, a triangle pattern triangle chart pa chart pattern you can see the price itself again is consolidating but the consolidation zone itself it's, is consolidating right that is what a triangle is so even if you look at a triangle there are three different types of triangle triangle chart patterns number one is an ascending triangle number two is a descending triangle number three is a symmetrical triangle again please do not worry about the name nomenclatures here all you have to understand is okay prices are consolidating you just have to connect the highs and lows and you will find a chart pattern so if you look at a ascending triangle same highs and higher lows right all the highs are at a similar level but the lows are getting higher and higher if you look at a descending triangle or the lows are at a similar level and all the highs are getting lower and lower and if you look at a symmetric triangle you can see that uh, it is creating lower highs and higher lows see all the highs being created are lower than the previous highs and all all the lows which are being created are higher than the previous lows created so you can see it is a symmetrical triangle now you understand what can happen from here since it is a triangle or even leave the triangle part apart since it is a consolidation and you draw two lines here so the upper line will act as what resistance what will the lower line act as support so if the resistance is being broken you can find a breakout you can take a long entry keeping sl keeping sl somewhere around here which is below the support line or if the support line is being broken then you can take a short entry keeping sl above the resistance as simple as that how you will use the triangle pattern is exactly how you will use the rectangle pattern based on what you have two lines here the upper line is your resistance line the lower line is your support line based on whatever is being broken you will understand what can happen there take a trade as simple as that right now i'll go into a chart and i'll actually show you a triangle pattern being formed here so this is wipro i'm sorry yeah so this is wipro for you and i'm looking to looking into the daily time frame right so if you see here you can see that the price started moving down from here where did it go down till it came down till here then it moved up again moved up kind of nearly till here then it came came down till here which is again very similar to this level then it moved up again then it came down to this level then it moved up so i drew this trend line and this horizontal line and if you look here you can kind of see a triangle 
kind of see a triangle so based on this now this trend line will act as a resistance and this trend line will act as a support based on whichever is being broken you can expect move there and you can take a trade what happened here it broke the support line because the support line is broken you can expect a move towards the lower direction and it did indeed happen you could have easily shorted wipro here and you could have made money as simple as that so it's your job to understand the chart pattern understanding that then going into a live chart and then identifying the chart pattern on the chart and draw your lines you'll have a resistance line and you'll have a support line as well based on whatever is broken you can take a trade as simple as that now again quickly looking here i never noticed this before if you actually see here you can find a rectangular chart pattern here see i, I can even draw it like this Okay, forget everything else. I'm, I'm even removing this. If you look here, again, randomly finding this on chart. So I thought, why not share, right? So if you see here, you can see a rectangular chart pattern based on whichever side is broken. You can take a trade. What happened eventually? The upper line, the, tra uh, the resistance line is broken and you can expect a breakout. And it did indeed happen. You could have made money there also. As simple as that. So simply put, all you have to look for is consolidation on a chart. And when you look for consolidation, you have to connect the lows of the consolidation and you have to connect the highs of the consolidation. Based on that, you might either get a rectangle, you might get a triangle. But the point is, the line connecting the highs of the consolidation will act as a resistance. The line connecting the lows of the consolidation will act as a support. Whichever is being broken, if the resistance is being broken, you can get a good breakout, take a long entry. If the support is being broken, you'll, you can get a good breakdown, take a short entry. As simple as that. Moving ahead into the next chart pattern. So here, the next chart pattern is a very famous one. We definitely have to understand this. But from here, there is something different. I'm not going to go into charts and show you live happening of this chart pattern. I'm going to give it as an assignment. Okay? Now, it is your job. In the next four chart patterns, you have to go into charts of multiple stocks and find such chart, chart patterns. It will definitely help you. Trust me, when you do it yourself, it will definitely help you a lot. I'm not going to show everything because it's going to consume a lot of time. And also the point that if given as an assignment and if you'll actually end up doing it, it is going to help you more than anything else. So please, please do that. So the next chart pattern that we are learning is a double top and double bottom. What is it that we see here? This is what is a double top. You can actually see a double top here, right? So the stock's price is moving up. It cre created a high. Then it started moving down. Then it created a low. Then it moved up again. And from one specific level, it started reversing and started moving down again. And that level, that high created is exactly the same as the previous high. So you, there you can see that a double top has been created. Right? This high and this high are the same. Double top, same tops have been created. Then it is coming down again. And the previous low is now very important. Now if you draw a line here, touching the previous low, it is called as the neckline, neckline of this double top chart pattern. And if the stock comes down and if this neckline is broken on the lower direction, then you can expect a breakdown. You can take a short entry here. That is what a double top means. What does it actually indicate? What do you actually understand here? The stock actually took resistance from similar highs two times. Then it is coming down. It is breaking the previous low, which means that sellers are super active. Buyers aren't active, which means that stock price could move down further. Take a short entry. As simple as that. Now, the exact opposite of a double top is what a double bottom is. You see, the stock price is moving down, created a low, then moved up, created a high, then moved down, created a low, which is exactly similar to that of the previous low. Then it is moving back up again. Then you have a neckline here, which is touching the previous high. Then if this previous high is broken, then there is a high chance the stock price could be reversing. There could be high momentum here. You can take a long entry here. As simple as that. That is what a double top and double bottom chart pattern is. The next chart pattern that we are going to learn is head and shoulders pattern. It is a very famous pattern and I'm sure you would have heard it from multiple sources. So if you actually look into the chart pattern itself, you can understand why it is called head and shoulders pattern. So if you see here, the price actually moved up, created a high, then came down again, created a low, then it went up. It broke the previous high, went up again, created a new high, then it came down. From there, it actually came down and created a low, which is exactly similar to the previous low. Then it went up again. Then it created a high. And this high did not break the previous high, but this high is kind of similar to the first high created. And from there, it reversed, came down again. And then it comes down to this similar low, which it has created previous two times. 
And what is that level called? It is the neckline of this chart pattern. You can already draw a line here connecting the lows already created here. It is called the neckline of this chart pattern. So if the price comes down till here and if this neckline is broken on the lower direction, it means sellers are more active than buyers and there is a high chance that there could be a breakdown here. That the stock could move down from here. And based on that, you can short the stock. As simple as that. So again, Original point, why is it called a head and shoulders pattern? If you look at here, don't you feel that this is a head and two shoulders here. Head at the center and one shoulder each at one side. So that is why it is called a head and shoulders pattern. As simple as that. Now if you look into inverse head and shoulders pattern, it's exactly the opposite of head and shoulders pattern. Stock price is actually moving down, created a low, then started moving up created a high, then created a low which is much lower than the previous low, then moved up, created a high which is exactly similar to that of this high, then moved out, created a low which is not lower than this previous low, but it is kind of similar to the first low created, then it moves down again. By that time, you could have easily drawn your neckline on the chart and if then the, neck, the neckline is being broken on the upper side, there is a high chance the stock price could move up, take a long, long entry there. As simple as that. Let's move ahead into the next chart pattern. This is where I, I again want to re-establish the fact that I'm not going into the chart and showing you real examples. It is up to you. Take it as an example, right? Now again, we have another very famous chart pattern, which is a flag continuation pattern. Or simply put, it's called a flag pattern. So how you can find a flag pattern is, the stock price is moving up initially, okay? It is moving up initially. Then it is kind of consolidating in a angled rectangle okay a rectangle which is kind of slanted and from this rectangle there is a high chance that the stock could break out if the resistance line is broken on the upper direction so why is this called a flag pattern because if you look here this can be seen as a pole of a flag and at the end of a pole of a flag you actually have the flag also right and eventually this flag is being broken out on the upper side now let me quickly go back into the charts Lo let me look into wipro here we did earlier look into a slanted rectangle if you remember right and that slanted rectangle if you see you can kind of see this or consider this as a flag pattern also now if you see here what do you see here this is the pole of the flag see price actually moved up with a lot of strength and then the actual flag pattern of the flag is formed and from there on the upper side the upper region or the resistance line of the flag is being broken then what does the flag pattern say there is a high chance there could be a breakout which happens and that is exactly what happened on the chart right so that is what a flag continuation pattern is and this is a very common pattern that you can actually see in five minute candles on the indra day chart of any stock or any indice. I am a trader who mostly trades in Nifty and on the 5 minute candles of, of Nifty, I've seen multiple times a flag pattern being formed. So make sure you also go into a chart and find a flag continuation pattern. Cool. Then let us learn the last chart pattern that we are going to learn today, which is a cup and handle pattern. So if you look at the cup and handle pattern, what can you see here? The price is actually moving up first. Then it created a high. Then it actually uh, started coming down. Then it started creating lows in such a way that it, is, it can be connected by a curved line like this. Right? A curved line, line like this can connect all the lows which are being created here. And eventually, the stock is kind of reversing slowly and it moved up and created a high and this high is kind of similar to the previous high it created then it is kind of consolidating in a slanted rectangle here and finally from the slanted rectangles resistance line if it is being breaking out and finally if it is also breaking out from the previous highs that it has created then it can be a really good breakout you can definitely take a long entry there now why is it called a cup and handle pattern you can clearly see right if you draw a curved line Connecting all the lows which are being created here, it actually looks like a cup, right? And the slanted rectangle here is actually looking like the handle of the cup. And finally, from the upper line of this handle and also from the previous highs, if it is actually breaking out, it can go, it can be a good breakout. Now again, why a cup and handle chart pattern become a thing is because you can find this multiple times on multiple stocks charts. So yeah, make sure you go into charts and spot some cup and handle patterns amazing so yeah, in today's video so far we have learned six chart patterns and more importantly i want you to focus on what we learned here when a stock is consolidating or moving in a zone your job is to draw trend lines connecting highs and connecting lows
The, those can act as support and resistances. Find breakouts and breakdowns. Trade based on them. As simple as that. And then there are certain specific set chart patterns. If you can find these chart patterns, nothing better than that. You can actually find even better trades. Beautiful. So yeah, before ending today's class, I'll give you one pro tip. Okay, one amazing pro tip that I have learned in my trading journey. Okay, so what you're seeing here on screen is my pro tip for you, which is look at retests and volume also when you are taking trades based on chart patterns. I, I'm showing you an example here, right? So if you see here, what chart pattern is this? This is a rectangle chart pattern here, right? The stock is actually consolidating here. There is a resistance which you can find here and there is a support also you can find here. Based on a rectangle chart pattern, what, what did we learn? When the low is broken, you can take a quick short entry. But many a times I've seen that when you actually short the stock there itself, that is not a really good entry. It is a good entry, but that entry can even be optimized. That is, you can actually look at retest and you can look at volume also and then you can take a trade. So if you see here, it actually did come down till here. Then it moved back up till this line, this lower line which earlier was a support. Now it will act as a resistance and now it is taking resistance here. Now that is what is called a retest and the retest is done here. Then it starts moving down again. Now this is an even higher probability short entry is what I am saying. So rather than entering at the first breakdown, wait for a retest of that level again. Let it go down again. Let it move back up again. Let a retest be done of the same level and then let it move down again. That can be a better entry multiple times. I'm not asking you to no tender here. You can try entering here also. But from my experience, I have felt that retest entries are even better. And when you're doing a retest entry, you can look at the volume also. Now that is what we have to learn next. How to look at volume and make sure the retest is actually not powerful and it is actually helping you to take a better entry. So looking at volume, what can you understand here? When it is actually consolidating in the zone, volumes are kind of less, right? If you compare it to other volume bars here, you can clearly see that when it is consolidating, the volume is less. And when it is actually breaking down from the support zone, there is good enough volume, which is good, which itself is good for a short entry. But you wait there, then you see that the price is moving back up. It is moving back up to the original zone, which will act as a resistance now. Now, how can a resistance be broken? Only with good volume. Now, you look look the volume there. The volume isn't that much. What does it mean? This up move here is not being backed by good volume. It means that it is not going to be a sustainable good up move. And then you see that the price is actually again being reversed from that zone. And then you look in the volume and the volume is really high there. Which means that when the stock is moving up after this initial breakdown, when it is moving up, there is a huge volume. Buyers are not supporting. But when the retest is done, when it is moving down again, there is huge volume. Which means that sellers are really interested in selling it. Isn't that enough for you? So here, you have clubbed the retest logic and volume logic in order to take even better trades by looking at a chart pattern. So this is a pro tip which I really wanted to share with all of you. So the same thing is what you are seeing here also. When it is happening on the upper side also, it broke out from here. You're not taking a long entry here. You're waiting for a retest to happen. You're confirming after the retest when it is going up, there is good volume which is higher than the previous volumes. Then you can take a long entry here. I've even seen traders who are waiting till here and take a long entry only when the previous high is being broken. You can even do that. Cool. So the pro tip is given, make sure you do this or make sure you actually practically apply this and take great trades. Cool. So before parting, I have a few more tips for you. Practical application of chart patterns on trading. Very quickly, let's read through them. Number one is breakouts can happen in day as well as on weekly chart. As I said, you can find chart patterns on five minute candles on 15 minute candles, on one day candles, on one week candles also. Depending on what kind of a trader you are, you can definitely use it for your own analysis and take trades based on that. I would say this, if you are an intraday trader, look into five minute candles and try finding chart patterns there. If you are a swing or a positional trader, look into daily candles and try finding chart patterns there. Amazing. The second point is, confirm breakouts and breakdowns with volume. Okay. So, you find a chart pattern. Maybe the upper line is being broken. Just because it is being broken, don't take a long entry. Confirm it with the candlestick analysis. Confirm it with volume analysis. Do all of those things that you've already learned. Only then take entries. 
just because a trend line is being broken, don't take entries. Cool? The third point here is, chart patterns need not be exact. Always understand the concept, not just the theory. The exact same thing I've been saying in all the previous videos, right? You wouldn't actually find templatized exact chart patterns on, uh, on a screen, right? On a chart. You have to use your logic also. You have to understand what you're doing. And maybe all the highs might not be connected. There might be highs which are not connected also. For example, here in Tata Motors, right? You would have thought about this when I actually showed you this uh, chart pattern when we began. When we actually drew this rectangle, you can kind of argue that these highs are not actually touching this high that we are actually tracking. So my point here is, your job is not to actually find whatever you learned in theory on the chart. No. Your job is to understand the logic behind what you learned. Right? Based on that, if you start acting, all of your chart patterns wouldn't exactly be like the chart patterns that we see on theory. There would be some highs which are not touching highs and there would be some lows which are lower than the low line that you've uh, drawn, which is also fine. Your job is to understand the logic, the concept, take it to your heart and then practically use it for trading and make money from the market. The aim is to make money from trading, not to be a theoretical professor on the same, right? I hope you understand the same. And you'll acquire this craft only with practice. Please make sure. So your job is, from today onwards, find multiple chart patterns on charts. Find multiple supports and resistance on charts. Understand more about candlesticks by looking into candlesticks. And then take small, small trades with them. We have learned enough. To become a good price action trader, we have learned enough. Now, based on those, using very little capital, start taking trades. Yes, you will be making losses also here and there. You will be making wins and profits also here and there. With time, you will get better. And with time, you will become a better trader who makes profits most of the times. You will still be making losses, which is fine. But make profits most of the times and make losses less number of times. And when you make profits, make large profits. And when you make loss, make sure the loss is small. It is enough. That is enough recipe to become a good trader. Cool? You'll do that? If you're promising me that, that is it for this class and the price action masterclass that we had so far. Going ahead, we learn about technical indicators. We learn about technical indicators and price action mixed trading strategies also. So stay tuned for that. So if you like the video, make sure you smash the like button, share the video with as many as people as possible, jump into the comment section and ask me any doubts that you have on your mind. I'll make sure that I'll reply to each and every one of your doubts. So yeah, that is it from my side in today's class. As always, let's learn, trade, invest and grow together. See you in the next class. Bye-bye.